They're bringing in the big guns, Mr. Steve Mazzagotti as the third man of the ring. Time. Give us all a good, clean, fair fight. Protect yourself at all times. Look time. at so Jose. Good luck. Look at Jose stare his opponent down. He's ready to rock and roll. They gave the half hug. I give them that. They got the sportsmanship. The judges are going to have a show tonight. Again, we've got, for our judges this evening, we've got Corey Martin, Bob Tuma, Craig Shirley, Mike Stern, Terry Eichelberry. And again, we couldn't do it without our doctor this evening, Dr. Frank Stiles, because I have a feeling we're going to make him work. <laughs> <laughs> he probably came to watch them fights. He's going to work the fights. When those elbows start flying, those knees start flying, <laughs> hey, anything's possible. And here they go. Good block already. Jose blocked that kick. Oh! He said he was going to use his leg kick, and that's a good indication of it. They're very well matched. Their weight is 150 pounds. Timothy Roberts in the red shorts, gone down for the second time. He good weighed balance. in at 150. Jose weighed in at 150. There's only an inch difference in favor of the Canadian fighter. Both fighters have trained three years in this sport. I can Look say it. Timothy Roberts gave a prediction backstage, first round knockout. Okay, well I tell you what, he should have told Jose that because Jose <laughs> is going right at him. <laughs> and again, Jose said good show. Look at these knees already. Jose, they're trying to turn each other, spin each other out and need them. Good technique on both parts. Good stance, good balance. Uh-huh, Jose trying to throw a round kick but got caught. That right hand. Timing is everything. Absolutely right everything. Hand. Jose loves a lot of boxing. That's yes. the Mexican style. Yeah, you're, you're there gonna you see go. that as it gets mixed up. the leg up. and throw that combination. Oh, a good right hand by Jose. Good. He's oh. feeling it now. Now he's going to work with, oh, good right hand. So you got oh. Timothy Roberts in the red, Jose Garcia in the blue trunks. Very evenly matched. You got yes. two trainers that are both from Thailand. Great combination. Jose Garcia said he was going to do leg kicks, but he's throwing great hand combination. Oh, he's a boxer by trade. Good, and he's chopping down that leg just like he said he would. Good, another good right hand by Jose. Jose's throwing great combinations. Oh, they, they look great. Oh, and the hold, and you can do that. Muay Thai, you can hold the leg. There you go, the end of round number one. I have to give that round to Jose Garcia. Absolutely. These fighters are going to go for three, three rounds. Three rounds, and we're going to have to take a look at some of that action of this round. They clearly were going at it. And let's see some slow motion replay. Here you'll see Garcia go in for a kick, and you had Timothy Roberts time that with a big right hand. But Jose never quits. He came right back with another right hand. And here you'll see they both checked the legs, and a boom, right hand by Garcia followed by a left. Good combination. And there you see Jose Garcia doing exactly what he said, chopping the leg. Here we go. Action for round number two. Jose looking ready. And here we go. For those of you oh, joining what us, a we've shot. got Jose he in the right blue. Away. Right away again with good combinations. Oh. Jose is throwing great shots. Great combinations. That was a slip. Oh! Good knees, good knees by Jose. Jose is a near. He's a full Muay Thai fighter. Only thing we haven't seen in this fight is an elbow. Good front kick by Jose. I don't believe Cyan's gym is known for their elbows. It's uh -huh. their knees. That's what Both they're known for. Both of them are round kicks now. Oh, great combination. I tell you what, if Jose goes to the body with one of those shots, he'll drop hold. his hands. And he'll go. Jose's using the kicks, the low kicks. Every every kick in the book he's been using. Front kick. Again, they're very well matched. I give kudos oh. to Master Toddy for this for this matchup. Jose. Neither one of them want to step back. Look at that. They're just going toe to toe. Jose is fighting fighting very smart. He can't. He's fighting very smart. Look at these knees. Both fighters are throwing good knees. And neither one of them look winded yet. And they've Not pretty yet, much no. thrown everything under the sun. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the training that goes into this. These guys are taking oh, oh. great round kick. 
his rib will be hurt tomorrow morning. Oh, another one. And a brown. <laughs> Keep a it right up, Jose, and it'll be broke by tomorrow morning. <laughs> Good combination. A straight right hand has found a hole, and Jose just needs to keep throwing it. Oh, good, oh, good combination. Good combination by Jose Garcia with 10 seconds left. I think good John Dieters of LA Boxing chose the right route, right bout to show boxing skills. Oh, great good comment. right hand. His, his leg is hurt. His leg is hurt. Oh, his nose Look is hurt. Look at the top of his foot, the fighter from Canada. Oh. The top, he might have broken his foot. Let's take a look at some of the action from round number two. You see Garcia chopping the right leg, following by with a big right hand. And then you'll see their stock. Again, in a combination that he's throwing, you'll see Garcia throw a left hand straight up. And then Timothy Roberts tries a round kick. It's caught by Garcia, and then he hits him with a one-two combination. Doesn't get much better than that. He's got some wealth on his back, too. We're talking Timothy Roberts. This is the third round. It's scheduled, so this will be the last round. He's the fighter in the red trunks, Jose Garcia in the blue trunks. Jose, in my opinion, has both. control of both of these rounds. Yes, I agree with you 100%. Jose is throwing good combinations. When he starts with the punch, he finishes with the kick. If oh. he starts with a kick, he finishes with the punch. And Jose he's on top of it him. Up. He's got, we got a little bit of blood coming from Timothy's nose. Jose is fighting a good, good fight. As you can see, John Mazzagatti staying very close. He I knows that these fighters Ho are going to do some damage. I think if Jose pulls the trigger, he can knock him out. Oh, absolutely. Timothy has has heart though i don't think he's going to go down easy he came back out after that round with a very messed up foot well i'll be honest with you he can't his foot is hurt his foot is hurt and there's not much he can do right now look at that good uppercut i know i've fought fights when my foot ooh, oh is not feeling its best did you see that <laughs> kick from jose great oh good combination Oh, Good combination. Jose is following Ho up Jose with is fighting a great fight. Good Steve combination. was there to control that because Jose was going after him. Good combination. Jose looks great. Timothy is fighting. He's not quitting. He's coming in. He is not quitting at all. Oh, he's got to be careful twisting his body like that. He's putting his face right where Jose is near. And Jose cannot pull the head to the oh, knee. But if he go. bends it there, great there's shot. nothing what beyond his control. His Jose just needs to finish this if he wants oh, to finish oh. it with a knockout. Oh, and Steve Mazzagatti's going to stop it. He's going to give him a standing eight count. He's going to give him a standing eight count. Uh, rightfully so. A standing eight count. Ten seconds left. I think he's going to make it out of this. He'll be fine. Timothy's going to go the distance. Yeah, but Clearly, Jose. Jose had the effective aggressiveness, and he had... The ability to pull off this what fight. What a great fight. What a great fight. Look Jose at the Ford. respect of these fighters. This is what we talk about in Muay Thai. Look at them. Arm in arm, going over to the corner. That is respect. That is sportsmanship. That We're waiting for the official scoring from the judges. This fight did go three rounds. The sponsor for this evening was John Dieters of LA Boxing. And let's take a look at some of the slow motion techniques that were thrown by Jose Garcia from Master Tati's gym here in Las Vegas. Jose doing exactly what he's taught, chop down the leg, step back, follow with a big right hand, and then follow with another right hand, exactly how he's taught. Constantly moving, that front kick missed by Timothy Roberts and Jose grabs him in a clinch. Now watch as he catches the leg, throws the right hand, throws the left hook, and he keeps punching. That's what made the difference in this fight. He never stopped punching. You see, again, he catches the leg, throws the right hand, the, throws the left hand, and then throws a one-two combination to finish it off. And then he comes in with the front kick, exactly how he's taught. Jose Garcia used all the techniques that he was taught. There you see he twists his body around, set him up for a knee. Jose Garcia did a great job in this fight. Not to take anything away from Timothy Roberts. He fought well. You see they're just stalking each other. Jose, again, those are combination, Timothy blocks. He, he throws more than one punch at a time. That way, he's assured to hit him at least one time. Those are body shot, follows with an uppercut, and then he grabs in a clinch. Now watch as Jose twists his body, gets it out, and then throws a double knee. Excellent combination by Jose Garcia. Excellent combination. And you see, Steve Mazzagatti breaks him, but 
you can see Timothy Roberts really is pretty much done a one-two combination that says, I'm still here, I'm still coming strong. One by decision from Master Toddy Gymnasium, Jose Garcia! And that is our fabulous Who ring announcer, Paul Suenet. From LA Boxing Hollywood, Crew John Peters. Wow, what a good win for Jose. What a good fight for both of these fighters. He certainly took a challenge coming all the way from Canada to the home of Jose Garcia, who predicted a good showing and showed us what he had to offer. And Full Muay Thai, everything. Except elbows. Except elbows. They didn't hit the he didn't need them. <laughs> I don't think they got close enough. He didn't need them. He didn't need the elbows.